Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have with us episode 3 of The Walking Dead, episode 3, part 1. Last episode was, was kind of nuts, eh? <laughs> I won't even lie, bro. Like, last episode was was something else, bro. I'll tell you what, because, um, yeah, a lot was going on. <laughs> and I think the, the toughest thing about this game, yeah, is, um,. Oh snap. Yeah, the toughest thing about this game. Yeah, it's I don't know man, like trying to set a good example for, for Clementine. You know what I'm trying to say, bro? Like yeah, things are nuts and all, but it's like bro, Clementine deserves to have it at least a not a horrible childhood. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's 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 a tough thing. But yeah, anyway, episode three. Long road ahead. Let's get it. Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them. You'll be safe. Yeah. That that last episode with the dairy and the people that eat people, bro, that that was nuts. But I wonder if thing is <laughs> I wonder how Yushu's gonna treat it, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like Cause it's it's kinda nuts, but yeah, hopefully Hopefully that episode isn't like removed or I don't get a strike or something because yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Crazy, crazy stuff. <clears throat> Long road ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Sean Veneman. Drinking apple cider vinegar. Wearing skin because you want to be human. All right. Right. You know, in Central Sea, Sid. <clears throat> Lee, where do you come down on staying or going? You mean, packing up the motel and getting in the RV? Yeah, we've been talking about it, but have you made up your mind yet? Yeah, we should go. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. you damn right it has. We pile into the RV and don't pull over till we see water. And if Lily's dead set on staying, then, well, that's the way it goes. And the reason why I said we should leave is because those people are, or that crazy lady was doing surveillance on Clementine, bro. That's nuts, bro. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. 
Hmm. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hmm. Bro, nothing even moves the first time, bro. Like, bro. Lily's not doing so good, huh? Yeah, well. Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. button to press is it inside is the button inside your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week uh, I haven't asked I haven't asked just gonna let it stew huh Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. Hey, what did he say? What did he say? He just woke up in the middle of the night, screaming his head off. He thinks he killed Herschel's son. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry. Fact of the matter is, we did. We? You sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Shit! A nice one. A nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get up. Don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. She's gonna get us killed. No shit. Actually. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. They don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Kim. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. She's gone. There's not much time now. Hey, what time is going, bro?
Ace, only 12 items. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle! Jimmy, help! Bro, I'm pressing, bro. You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, <coughs> and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Hey, that's a mad sentence, bro. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Which was a lot, actually. Take a look. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you two, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. We don't have to do anything. You didn't want to go because of your dad's health. Uh but he's gone now. Easy, Kenny. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. Ken, we're all losing it with the attacks and lack of food. It could be so much worse. When's the last time someone got bitten? Are you counting the St. John's? Jesus, Ben. We're all going a little nuts. But we can't tear each other apart. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you know What it. about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? Call we can't just keep wagon. our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? You weren't out there. You guys couldn't try to save her? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. 
You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! Mm. Hey, you know what? She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. Ooh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Mm -hmm. Talk about what, big dog? Talk about what? Let me talk to you. Always gotta check on Clementine first, bro. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What you doing? What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? Oh. It's the same. Um, <laughs> kind of. Oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Yeah, things we, we're talking about going, we don't even know where. <laughs> we just, we're just talking about going. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? Mm, I'm following up. I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. And you came in here to confess? I'm not stealing shit. I came in here to help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Mm. For real? Who? Oh, what do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Mm. Yeah. Seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Prove me wrong. Or I'll just assume it was you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be <laughs> Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Mm. Hey, you can help, but don't tell no one. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah. 
good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. I had to pick the option that said don't tell anyone. Because that brother loves to chat, bro. Help will help. Uh, yeah, that duck brother, yeah. That brother can chat, bro. <laughs> Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Hmm. What do you mean by that? What about? What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Yeah, she's right. Yeah, she's right. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? Yeah, I'll let people know. I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. Bro, I thought she was scheming, bro. Oh, she was! You'll oh! Say less, bro. Honesty, Riz. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, do you know anything about this flashlight? Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. <laughs> I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. Man. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. Mm. Think people are ready? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Mm, any thoughts on Lily? You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. You feel safe? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Mm, let me, yeah, let me speak to Clementine about the flashlight. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming <laughs> me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now Clementine's jokes, bro. <laughs> Clementine's jokes, bro. Um... Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Uh... Kenny, you got a stick? Oh. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Hmm. About the guns? About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Uh, Kenny, you got a second? 
Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Sure, pal. What you got? It's serious. Oh, no. What'd the she-devil do to you? Shut up, man. Uh... You know what? It's I was, uh... On my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. It wasn't for touching what? kids, no. was it? Oh, Bro. man, come on, man. What? I gotta ask. No. I killed a guy in a fight. Hmm. It must have been a real piece of shit if you had to haul off and kill him. So we're straight then. Lee, look at everything this mess has got us doing now. I'm sorry you went through whatever you went through. Yeah, we're straight. Bruh, how, how can that be the first thing he asks, bruh? That's crazy, bro. Let me talk to Katya also. I wanna tell her. Hi, guys. Um, Katya? Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I knew someone by that name once before. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Probably not. Mm. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh, That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. Okay. I held Lily back and Kenny made sure Larry didn't get up. What did he do? He smashed his head in. Amen. Katja. Everything keeps changing. Amen. Hey, she can't handle the truth. Katja will remember that. It's never good when it says Katja will remember. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Uh, the flash. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous, and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Mm. You give up? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend, but what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. <laughs> I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. Well, let me just see how, it's how long I've been recording. Super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... Mm, what do you think about Lily? What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Surely. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. Mm. I was, uh, on my way to prison before this. Whoa, seriously? What, um, were you in for? It's not important. Oh. Just, if you hear anything, it's probably true. And now you know. Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. Ben won't forget that. Should have only told Kenny, because I'm going around telling everybody, bro. Hmm. Hmm. Chalk. 
pink. Hmm. Doc. A clue. Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Check on Clementine, but maybe someone took some of the coloring stuff. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Interesting. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. High five. Cool! Uh, do you know about this flashlight, bro? You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Mm. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk? You found the scuff here? This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. <laughs> Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. <laughs> okay, I won't. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. Ooh. I had to look at the bottom. <laughs> Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. And let me go to... to Carly first, but I think... I think I shouldn't have... I told everybody. Probably should have just told Kenny, but you know what? Amen. Amen. I, uh, talked to Kenny about who I am. And? He was cool. He just worries about his family. That wasn't so hard, was it, tough guy? I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. Mm, I told Ben. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. Low risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. Uh, bro, I'm not, uh, brother. Hey, car. <laughs> Why did you go up the stairs, bro? Can I go speak to Lily again? Hey. Find anything? Mm. I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something. What is it? Mm. Yeah. I was sent to prison before the plague. You think that's news? I guess I hoped it was. Worse. Did you think that story died with my dad? 
Anything else? No. Should I have not have told Lily? No, let me let me speak to Kali one more to say I told Lily and then as that's everybody. I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. It went about as well as you would expect. <laughs> Alright, that that's it. That's it. Now let me go. So what am I even looking for? Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, We've got man, our people out there! Out here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. We have more supplies. We can keep the deal going. Too late, shithead! We ain't giving second chances. It, it was a mix-up. We'll make it worth your while. I'm listening. What will it take? What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been given. Twice? You got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Ah! <gasps> uh. uh. Oh, bro, I took too long. Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Go around, shit, for brains! He's back there! Now! Get over here! Hurry! Man, you saved our asses! Get inside! Hi there, me! Help! Katja, hang on! <laughs> Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! That's on me. <laughs> That's on me. Hi there, me! Help! Katja, hang on! I can't even see it. Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your asses around the hide. Oh! 
squad. So I need to get all three of them fast quick. Okay. okay. So it. Help! Okay. Katya, hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van. Get your ass out behind. Come on! Clint, get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Oh, Christ! Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Lily, last chance! Get down here! Shit! Cat! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split I'm open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to Hi. say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up hey, with this. I've I had my Carly. suspicions. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal, and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Yeah, let's do that. Lily, stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on, and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. I know. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... <laughs> Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Okay, I need to, I need to end this soon because no shitting is, yeah, is that hat. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. We should hear out. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. 
I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! Ah, this dumb fuck I'm not, walker! I'm not this. You okay over there? I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts! We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh, the hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, stop anything. Panicking. Just you think any of that is good now? Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Kenny, what's it going to be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Ah, this is about trust, and I've shit. never trusted ben. you. Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I can't. Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Drop it! <sighs> Holy fuck. Kenny, what's happening? Keep duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. Right, you know what? Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with right, you. Lily. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Whatever. Bro, Just not kidding. Carly, bro. Ah, Lily. Ah. Bro. Okay, low shading any second now, so I'm just gonna stop. Right, stop. Start a new recording. We're gonna continue, and hopefully we can finish at a, a good place. Yeah. So let's get it. Let's get it. Lee, a word, please. Okay, now I'm stopping here for real. Yeah, we're gonna pick up from here. Okay, all right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe. Uh, God bless, and uh, thank you all for your time. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the the next episode. Yeah, for part two. Yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for your time.